Mr. and I call the member for Dobell. Uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Well, recently, the Assistant Minister for Innovation, the Honourable White Roy, visited Dobell, where the agenda of innovation was well and truly on the table. And during the Assistant Minister's visit, I was able to showcase the Entrance Public School, which is one of uh, the local Dobell schools who are moving forward in leaps and bounds in regard to STEM education opportunities. And our visit to the Entrance Public School showcased their STEM program, and we witness first-hand students learning the background and the art of coding and interacting with new technology. And it's extraordinary to think that the jobs that most of these young people will build their career on haven't actually been invented yet. The Entrance Public School STEMS program provides a creative and innovative environment for student learning. And by employing a STEM teacher to deliver robotics, coding, app development and uh, maker space, an environment is produced where students can create, invent, learn and share their ideas. In particular, to promote the girls' interest in STEM, a girls' mentoring program in the areas of science and technology has been introduced. And to date, 100 per cent of students are coding and engaged in the robotics program. In addition, Aboriginal students have shown a significant improvement in literacy and numeracy in the 2015 NAPLAN results. The introduction of uh, STEM programs throughout our schools is just the first step in providing the basis for education and employment opportunities in the future. And recently, the Central Coast Express Advocate reported that the construction, retail and health um, sectors are driving employment growth on the Central Coast, with employment growth in the region increasing by 19.7% over the past 12 months. Now, with the increase in technology, it's likely that we will see further growth in areas that relate directly to innovation and the STEM line of education. The need to embrace the concept of innovation is one that has been wholeheartedly accepted on the Central Coast, and no more so than the annual Innovation Summit, which is held locally every year. This year's theme is around getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, and it's imperative to be aware that the jobs of today may not exist tomorrow, and the businesses of today need to transform to survive. And this has been evident already in the way that robotics has transformed the manufacturing industry and how environmental ecologists are looking at transforming traditional waste management towards better processes. The fact is that um, what we are doing in business today will require reform and innovation and to adapt to the needs of an evolving business environment. It's also relevant in regard to the personal situation of innovation and change and how we as a society and as an individual need to embrace what the future holds. Now, Dobell is known for many things. We've got the great beaches, wonderful lakes and the beautiful green valleys. But in the future, I'm sure it will be known for its new and innovative businesses and the way in which schools and businesses have embraced STEM programs.